Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to what will probably be the final part of this little journal. She's only a little one and um, she's not as frilly or um, like full on as normal because I've left a lot of space for journaling and that. But I have still got a couple pages that I need to work on. So I'm going to make a pocket again with an envelope but this time I'm not leaving the flap because that would be round that way and I want um, to see that through because what would be a journal of mine without a bit of decoupage because you know I love it um, right before I crack on I do apologise for the background noise but I've either got to wait um, until everyone's finished with the kitchen which might be ages who knows living in a busy house or just crack on and see how we get on so i apologize the microwave is on at the moment but um yeah it won't be for long so bear with me please because i'd rather crack on and get this done so yeah I've, I've come on quite well since last time um because you know i have to film at different times i do, do try and find a quiet time in my little um mad house but yeah it's not always possible so um like right now but i thought i'd rather turn the camera on and at least get another video out of this little journal um yeah because otherwise i'll have no content so yeah that's what uh, is going on at the minute so i hope these are all well um what i was thinking was i'll do a little bit of decoupage on it and i've got this lovely little doily and but it's white and i ain't got time for coffee type coffee dyeing so I'm going over it with antique, oh, I've got to be more careful than that, and over it with antique linen first, and then I'll come in with the darker bits and bobs. That bit should be alright. I might not even need it all of, of it. I'll probably have it coming, coming over from somewhere. So, yeah. It, I might not need that bit that I just tore, but even if I do, like once it's all stuck down, you can't tell. It's just being gentle, which sometimes I go throw myself in like a fairy elephant, and um, yeah, <laughs> that's what you shouldn't do, and it especially if like delicate little doily. But anyway, that bit's done. I'll pop that down there. Um, and I'm going to come in now with a brush. Oh, oh, it's a bit of fluff. I don't want that. Right. And just trying to be careful. And that microwave feels like it's getting loud. <laughs> <laughs> I really do apologise. At least I haven't got the washing machine on, so because that that's waiting to go on. But I've had to, um, yeah, had to draw the line somewhere. So yeah, the washing machine's gonna have to wait. But yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. We've had another lovely day here today, so it's been nice being able to sit outside. Um. And yeah, I've been trying to get bits and bobs done when I haven't had like enough quiet time to actual film. I have been doing working on the, this little journal, and oh, I'm really enjoying it. It's such a lovely little kit, and really quite versatile. And I've left quite a lot of room in this journal, like for someone to really journal in it. You know, quite a lot of writing space. Right, I'm not going to stick this on yet, um, because I think I want it onto this as the pocket, and then onto the page as well. I'm just going to go a little bit darker, just 
stick with the brush though. Just, just at the edges. And yeah, I'm thinking having part of it on the page and part on that pocket and um, maybe even going round the page onto the page underneath if if I can manage it right I kind of like that and while I'm at it I think I'm going to ink this a bit more before I make it into the pocket before we start sticking stuff to it and just get it quite a bit darker right yep I like that and then just go really dark might be better to just go like that. Actually, no, I want it a bit thicker than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better. And just along there. Right. right, that bit's done. So, I've already prepped. I've got a couple of butterflies. Well, I did have a couple. Now I seem to only have one. So I might have to rummage. I have got some bits from the other day. Um, I've got a bit of that that I wanted to go up the side. And yeah, I did have another butterfly. So I'm just going to go under the desk to see if it's woofed away as I've moved stuff. Right, annoyingly, the other one has, has disappeared off the face of the earth, so I might not even use that one on here because I've improvised and I've gone and die cut some out. They're out of the lovely Lisa's paper, Sirius Hecker, here on YouTube, and her shop, can't remember off the top of my head, it's... Um, it's something lovely the name I can't remember but anyway I will link Lisa's shop down below because she sells that paper and it's absolutely wonderful for decoupaging I really really do rate it highly the lovely Dawn sent me it from the book vandal shop and um, you well you, those of you that have um, with me and not just joined would know that and i made good use of them little bits that she sent me i think she sent me three sheets i've had three different colors a blue a dark red and this like rust color and i've put it to such good use i've used it in so many different well not in so many different ways i've been decoupaging with it but i've cut out so many shapes and i've torn bits and yeah i've used it on so many projects that was what i was meaning to say not in different ways because i know i've decoupaged with it everywhere but yeah it's it's taken on many different forms let's say and just recently i've been on a bit of a butterfly kick though haven't i but yeah just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i think i'm not going to use this butterfly off the napkin i'm just going to go with a couple maybe I'm got to know how I'm going to position this because, right, I think I want this page because, right, if I was somewhere like that, then I can have butterflies coming off. Yeah. Right. 
just trying to work out what I'm actually doing. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing, but um, yeah, you know what I mean. Just how we want to get it to be absolutely lovely. So, I'll just get a bit of glue there, not too much. Oh, I've got to come down a touch. No. Oh, maybe a little bit more. I just, where it's so delicate, I don't want it hanging over at the top where the thing, whatever's going to be in this pocket, is going in and out. Because um, it would just get ripped. That little bit of the side will be absolutely perfect. So if I've got that like that, might, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe up there. Just a little bit lower though, like that. And I'm going to have a couple of rusty ones down on here with the paper one, with the like, book page or maybe one of each yeah this little one over here right. and just so it doesn't look like one bit's shiny from the glue and one bit's not I'm going over the whole thing with glue just so it's not patchy and now I'm going to dry it off so I shall be two ticks right that's nice and dry what I think I'm going to do is start assembling how I want it because these bits have got to be stuck on after it's in place um, I could come up quite high couldn't I I haven't done a pocket like that for a while and then I'll have the whole doily on the page. Just something a little bit different. So, or maybe just coming off. Because I don't want it to over to one side. Right, let's get it stuck on. Pretty central. Just... Just flattening it a bit because the drying, oh, that's my um, page size that I, uh, that I have to make sure I'm cutting pockets and things to the right size. And I might leave it open to tuck something behind, although it is quite high up, isn't it? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'll glue it on nice and firmly because where we've got the doily attached and it's quite high up, it might make it a bit vulnerable. Right, so. That's it. Nice and stuck down. Let me just grab something out to make sure. I am not, yeah, sticking, <laughs> sticking it shut. <laughs> right, yep, just go in there again. Yeah, we're fine, right. Oh. A bit of glue squelched out then when I did that, but it does rub off a bit, right. So, now we want a bit of doily like that, so that's the very edge of the page, it won't map around but I'll just trim that off after. I would normally do it with um, a glue stick but they're very, very thin and delicate and I think me rubbing it with a glue stick, especially when I've already got a tear in it. I'll end up ruining it and then I'll be really sad and cry. <laughs> oh. Right. 
and I didn't go right to where my nail was there because that will be that edge and I didn't want glue hanging off the page so yeah that bit isn't tacky at all perfect I can just cut that off in a minute I might do it now so that it doesn't um I don't get confused where the edge of the page is actually falling there we go oh, there's a little tiny little tiny bit there we go right let me just pop that up the right way oh where's my page <laughs> there we are right so then i've got the lovely one in book page like that yeah lovely two I'm thinking of one like that there and then the little diddy one down here half on and half off of the doily oh so maybe that one mm, yeah like that I'm happy with that position um I did consider wet glue but I don't want to curl my book page, like my, the page that's actual in the book, not these things made out of book page. If I start wetting it and drying it, I don't want to risk spoiling it. Right, I want that a bit further off, like that, that's it. Right, I'm happy with that. Originally, I was going to decorate a desk check to go in there, but that would be way too tall and poking out of my book. So I didn't know I was going to do this, see? So, um, let's have a look. I really like that. So, I need to make like a short, dumpy kind of tag. Same width as this. So, I'll use that as my guide. Let me see where it came up to. Right. So, I can go as high as that line where them boxes are right so again i've got a little guide and i could use this that i've been using as a paper size guide because i'm near enough at the end of the journal and as you can see i've inked on it but we're going to cover that up anyway so i want the width of a guest check so, so a tiny bit and I want it to go up to the date so let's see where that takes us about there mm. that would roughly be it Let's see before I start decorating it that I haven't missized it. Oh no, that'd be nice. Right. So I'm going to turn it into a tag rather than a German card this time. If I can find a little guide, there we are. And I'm not worried about that ink there. I'm just getting the size and shape at the minute mm. and oh there we are right so I'm going to ink all around anyway this is my front that will be the back and just Darken it up. What am I thinking? Right, we had paper um, butterflies, didn't we? So, I might do similar on here. I'll have to cut some more out. 
that and I, I want to lay up some torn paper as well so you're not going to see that middle bit so I'm going to stop inking with that and just get that dark around the edge think that's done yet yeah. and so I want some torn paper I've got a couple of different I had some lined paper didn't I what did I do with that oh yeah I've got some here with that nice edge that I like yeah look they've only folded they're not torn off Right, I think we'll definitely have a bit of that and then probably a bit of that. Right, that bit there's coming off, that's no drama. And I need to get rid of that straight line. Um, there we are. And, right, make it a bit thinner. And I'm going to ink around that gently. Oh. And I'm sure, what else have I got? Yeah, I've got a bit of that just plain coffee dyed paper. And then I'm going to put print um, butterflies and a couple of ones with that lovely paper that I've got from Lisa oh, from Dawn but or via Dawn from Lisa <laughs> right that's going to be like that I like it um, just Maybe a strip like that, maybe a little bit somewhere else, or maybe another lined bit, like layer of it. So I'll get rid of this straight edge like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit thinner. I don't know why, but. I'm just feeling it like that. Yeah, that would be better for me, I think. Right. And then, when the butterflies go on top, I think it will bring it all to life. Make it look lovely. And then, I think I've only got one more page where I felt needed something. And then I'll probably be finished, which is cool. Um, and so, yeah, then I'll film a flip through and I'll put it in my Etsy shop. But yeah, this one is got lots of room for the decor and it's a lot smaller than what I normally do. Like, I know I've inked this bit, but I'm getting it again. I'm just going to put a bit darker ink. Just coming in. coming off that's it right. so we're going to go in layers oh, I want the book back again tonight because I'm gluing and I don't want to get it everywhere right that bit first 
and then just coming off the feet they're not feet but then it? it looks like little um caterpillar feet or centipede feet <laughs> where does my brain go to only i don't i don't even know my own self so i don't know why i'm asking <laughs> right down here because that bit's bluey Right. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I nearly sent everything flying then. Right, so I'm coming up there. Lovely. And then this last bit, right, down here's not bluey in this corner. Just get it on the edge. That's it. And we come on a bit higher. There. Yep, I like that. And remember, that's the side to journal on. This is the front. So I'm just going to cut another couple of butterflies and then we'll finish it off. Right, I've got my butterflies. Um. They're not all going to fit, obviously. I'm just thinking whether I want that as my big one or I want it synced up that. I think probably that I'm going to go with. They're just so lovely. Um, so I did think at one point, could I perhaps do it like, so part, that was the butterfly and it's sort of shadow kind of, on top or underneath you know but i don't think i think it's just going to look like a mess so i think maybe go with the biggest one and the smallest one like that and just the middle one being book page i'm thinking Yeah, we kind of like that. Right. Uh, what am I going to glue them on with? I think I'm just going to have to do it with Fabri-Tac. Right. Um, right, I'm just carefully... Got bits here and there. Gently, a little towel or body, not towel, was sticking up, and then just a bit on here. Right, that definitely needs something else. Um, I think maybe I'll get a bit of trim and yeah, maybe along here. Oh, I don't want to like that. If it comes along here, I'm like, let's move my butterfly in a bit. There. Ah! I've torn him in half. That's it. I've put him back together. And I did manage to scoot him a little bit that way so I can have a bit of trim coming along there. And I have got something. Here, I haven't got to go rummaging. I think we'll have some leaves coming up, and I can what's it called? I can stick some flowers on because I did get them out earlier thinking I wanted to use them, but I didn't know where. But coming up there, I think it is perfect. Just giving it that little something else. 
that it needs it's a bit on the plain side oh sorry that was a big plonk just get the eyelid in and then I've got to think what colour oh, I've got to stick that butterfly a bit better as well look I've just moved it well I haven't got glue under everywhere let's get a bit on that wing and just smush it upwards that's it I need a bit on this bottom wing as well that's it and just give it a bit right so I've got me bit of leaf trim that can now come up that edge let's see yep yeah. right i'm just gonna go for it and stick that on right. and i've already got out some flowers when i got this out um that i've coffee dyed and I'm just going to put a couple of them. I think three. An odd number. It's always um, nicer, isn't it? Um, on the eye for some reason. Oh, I've got a thread hanging there. But it's going to annoy me. Right, hang on. Let's see. One. I know it's only a little short distance. But one sort of nestling that way and then one on the inner bit and then one there yep yeah, I'm very happy with that just gives it something else there. And that bit there get rid of that bit fluff <laughs> I've glued a bit of fluff and it just weren't shifting that was really stubborn that was like a battle of strength <laughs> right I like that now I've just got to find something for up there and I think down here it needs a number because I've got loads of them in the kit. Uh, I've got any cut out. Yeah, I have. Uh, oh. Oh. And I do apologise that big loud plonking. That's me scooting back under the desk in my chair and hitting my big shot <laughs> which is still under the desk from where I just got down and had to cut out my butterflies <laughs> oh, right. I like that I just need something for the top I kind of think this colour I know it's a brown but it, it's not far off that rusty colour so and it's sari silk um a little bit battered um i don't know how long i've had it probably ages but yeah the color's not so way off so it's a rusty kind of brown isn't it mm. right where's them scissors Nicely. I really like this bit. I'm not sure if that needs something more, but for now, I'm just going to put it in there because I. Oh, I'll wait until they're finished a bit. I do like it. There's plenty of room to journal. Let's mind that little flower. Um, 
and um, yeah I do like that right I'm gonna I want one more pocket in this journal and I want it going sideways and I'm going to use this little coin envelope so it's not going to take more than a couple of minutes like well more than that but it ain't going to take very long so I'm going to do it now and then this journal is finished so I'm quite excited I might just do the flip through now at the end I don't want it to be too long but um yeah, I want something in there. Maybe over there. Right. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to have on this um pocket but it's only small in it so it's not gonna take long I might have something from the um pages printed wrong that I can kinda cut out and mm, cover the little pocket make it look better well the little envelope rather shush it up a little bit yeah right i am just quickly gonna rummage right i have this fern that I'm gonna. Oh, is that gonna work out? Let's see. that went a bit wrong um i have got another one mm. could have that going that way what i was thinking was cutting a piece of this just a touch smaller than the envelope and then having this ripped bit on top of that so let's see if I can cut a bit nicely just to fit or if not I have got the other green that I could use the one that looks a bit like fabric um, let's measure that there Maybe if this being this small don't do this pattern any favours, I can look at the other one that we used before because I've still got some of that, but this might be all right because it's gonna have that over the top, yeah. I think that might be all right like that i'm going to round the corners oh there it is and if the little thin paper that's why i don't use thin paper because it it's just not very good <laughs> but it's fine for things like this Right, I'm going to have that like that. Let's get that ink. I'm still not sure about that one. 
I might cut out a different one. Or I could look for like some toadstools or something like that. Butterfly. Oh, butterfly might be good. And I know I've got them. Or I can easily fussy cut one. another bit for there. I can just cut that. Right, let's see. Just see how wide it is. Oh, I'll measure it on here, eh? And just go the same width as that. a little bit in and over hopefully <laughs> that let's see oh yeah that fits I'll surprise myself then right that bit on oh mm. stick that just under there right that be right and then yeah, that's not sticky. Just check in. keep it like that I don't think that is going to do any favours I like that dark green um, and I was going to have that as like a tag it could have a little yeah we'll set a little eye on it leave it that shape but I think I'll back it first probably got a bit that will fit now. I'll back it with that. Just tear that hand off because it's all gluey. And yeah, I was thinking, I definitely don't, I'm not using that bit because I've ruined that. It wasn't the right angle for me to be able to get a rectangle. And trying to do it the other way, I just didn't do it right. <laughs> so let's be fair, did I? I didn't do it right, so that's not an option. But I like that with that dark green, like that, and the ferns. So I was thinking maybe 
get out a butterfly and see what it looks like. But I don't know whether it needs it. I really do like how it's looking. Oh, I'm going to have to ink around this because I've, I've started to cut a bit weird. And cut off the edge. Right. We'll just quickly ink again. I was going to have to anyway. And this side that ain't been done. Oh, I know it seems very bendy, but once the glue dries, it'll be fine. Right. So it'll be coming in that way. So I want to set an eyelid there and that glue as you can see it's still wet it didn't really punch a clean hole but it did do an hole so there we are oh and no they're the one shade of green i was thinking like some thread no, they're lovely threads, but they're, they're the wrong shade. I might go... Oh no, I don't want the brown again, because that was really only just on the other page. I'm going to slice a bit of this off. I need my sharp scissors. There they are. Let's cut. Mm. Oh. Right. And I'll just take this end... a little thing mm. oh come on right so that bit's done get them a trim right and I wanted it Get that stuff out of the way. Right. Yeah, I wanted it there. So, here we are. Stuck like that. I'll just see what a um, big butterfly would look like. Too big. Um, so that is quite nice. Yeah, I think I will have that. So, quick as you like, I'll just go round with the ink. Right, yep, happy with that. Oh, don't want to mess up his, mess up his little mossets too much. Let me stick that down. Right, the whole lot in it, it's got to be stuck. Oh, and I've just thought of something else I've got. Right, so come down there like that. Uh, straighten it up a bit. Let me hold it up. Yeah, that's it. And me flutter by. Just here, in there, like that, that's it, and that's just going to pop in there, like that, and then, um, in this more ephemera, oh, come on, I know there's one in here, there we are. Little teeny tiny toadstools. Let's see. Have I got one a little tad bigger? I might have used them elsewhere. Oh, is that one? Let's see. So I want it to stand out. 
Right, so what I've found for final touch is a little um, couple of toadstools and one more number. So, I'll just get some ink on there. Just a little bit more, right. So that's going to be down here. And look, teeny tiny toadstools. There was greeny grey colour, but... I think you could see them, but they didn't stand out as much. These don't stand out loads because they're only little and that, but yeah, I think at the furthest edge, just overlapping the number. So, we put that on first, about there, just going over over the edge of the green onto so it's going through the middle that excess glue i'll rub off in a minute and then just overlapping the number there right yeah i'm happy with that and then our little pull out thingy right so just that's got a dryer set. I'm going to clear this away and do you a clip, quick flip through because it's all done now. And there's only, I think, 80 pages. So we'll go, quickly go through. Right, so she's all finished. I'm calling her Esme. E-S-M-E, Esme. Um, she's just a bit bigger than like A5 size. The pages are A5. And there's 80 of them, so she's like a little journal to me, um, for me, and she had two signatures, and yeah, just a sorry silk closure. You watched me make the cover completely, um, and yeah, here she is. So I've got some vintage ephemera from Gal Gostinelli, and this is that, and that's just some Edith Holden like mushrooms. Uh, that tucks in there and we did these little pockets on camera the other week with little tags or at the beginning of the week i should say um this is from another of amy's kits and it escapes me i i used this one page and it had some like toadstools on it that i've cut out and used in the journal and this lovely guest check tag um and so yeah they're them that's a bit of Edith Holden. I thought it would make a nice little bookmark. And add a lovely blue butterfly on it. And there is, like I said, plenty of room to journal. They're the toadstools it adds on it. Um, and yeah, I can't quite remember what one it was. Um, but there's the link to Amy's shop. I've linked below the um torn paper and ferns kit like directly and then underneath i've been putting the link to amy's shop where you can find all the other kits and lots of other fun stuff journals craft supplies this was another piece from gal gostinelli and i just decorated it um and tucked it in that lovely yellow fabric there another butterfly from the kit and these gorgeous pages are just lovely and i used the end pages from edith holden books and made them into tags there and just cut things like these toadstools oh yeah we made this one on camera but it didn't have that toadstool but afterwards well after i took the thumbnail photo i thought it needs something else it wasn't didn't quite have it so i added the toadstool that went with that one from the a page in the kit that i cut up and like i got that butterfly from there i just fussy cut out like printed that page twice and yeah found it really lovely to use um this was a lovely circle one in the kit and so i staggered it like that with that pocket that's in the kit and these two little tags that are backed and yeah all the ephemera that comes with it so lovely There's, you don't really have to do anything to it if you don't want to it's just gorgeous 
um, and another bit of Gail's um, ephemera and again Edith Holden mushrooms little Tim Holtz butterfly they're from my um, bean bonnet kit and I just had that little I think that might be a Tim Holtz one down there uh, we've got a little butterfly down there and butterfly button there and these and again are from the end pages that's from my faux fabric set one and i backed it with a page from the kit and then i took them from the um yeah being your bonnet little um tea cards i've got a little toadstool down there this is from set two of faux fabrics and then yeah we've got a belly band here nice big butterfly and a journaling card Another little pocket down here, and that's from the kit, that's from my being your bonnet. And then we made this just a minute ago, didn't we? So I ain't got to get that out, you know what that looks like. We made it a minute ago. And we done that one just a minute ago, didn't we? I don't know why I'm pulling that out. Right, I took a page from Edith Holden, and that's from my being your bonnet kit, and these are both from this torn paper and ferns kit and I just tucked them all in there just left them as they were and put them in that great big deep side pocket and then we've got a little toadstool up there that's from my B kit and that's one of the numbers from this kit a bit of Edith Holden That, oh yeah, them fabric pages are from set two of my torn paper. Um, I made that pocket out of an envelope. This from set one, faux fabrics. And that just sits in there like that. And like I said, there's loads of room for journaling in this um, book. I cut them out of the other kit of Amy's where I just took that one page and I can't remember what it was for the life of me and then we did oh no I didn't do this on camera I've got this from I think it's called straw paper that Amy sent me so I made that double tag and that pops in there Oh. I've done a guest check here with two more of the mushrooms that I cut from that page we've got a little um, wax seal bee there that just come out so cute that's it, it's back in and we're almost at the end oh yeah we did this one on camera and it's got two tags in it um, that one's um, Edith Holden this was just some paper that I had and they go in there like that that's it and that my lovelies is that so I really enjoyed doing this design team project and I can't wait to do the next one I'll probably try and pick one of her newer kits um, but I love the old kits, you know, and I think it's nice to sort of show them to remind people what other kits she's got in her shop rather than just always using the new ones. So, yeah, that is her. She will be going up in my Etsy shop. And, yeah, thank you very much for joining me while I've been working on this little lovely project. And thank you very much to Amy that trusts me with her kits and allows me to be on her design team. I know I'm only a little channel and um, there's only a few people watching. <laughs> but, yeah, she um, gives is a dear, dear friend of mine and, yeah, she allows me to um, have fun with her digis. So I'm really, really grateful for that and, most of all, grateful for her, her friendship. She's just one of my best pals. So, yeah, go check out all her kits, all her other stuff that she's got in her shop. 
which is linked below it's all wonderful and i will be back very soon thank you so much i love you loads bye for now